Hey there folks, JD here, and this contraption on my face is the JJRC003. Now we looked at the unboxing, I did a little flight with it last week, and a couple of people since then have said, right, okay, JD, do a couple of things for us. What's the distance like? Okay, fine, so I've come out today, and there is no fog today, beautiful. So we're gonna do a bit of a distance with the Tiny, with the tiny Hawk, and then from there, I'm gonna see exactly if I can fly it, FPV and line of sight. Now, I know I can, because I've done this last week, but at the same time, I want to show you so I'm going to have this camera pointed at my face and then I'm going to have this connected to my glasses exactly as I've got it here and I'm going to keep my camera recording the quad so it's going to be multiple it's going to be camera reception so I'm going to take off we're going to take her up we're going to fly her around a bit and then I have got have I got a distance meter on this no I haven't I don't think but I can roughly figure out because I know the field pretty well I can roughly figure out exactly how far I am away from everything now we do have a very very strong breeze here today coming from the left hitting me right across the right and then barreling over and out of the field and it's coming in at about eight miles an hour so it's going to be a little bit choppy a little bit changeable but i've brought the tiny hawks we've got those brushless motors that should be more than capable of cutting through this if it's not then i'll cut this short and we'll just bring her down all right then let's take her up all right then folks we are up and i got a little bit of little bit of interference from here so i'm going to increase her i've taken her out now about 30 foot 40 bringing it back to me so we're gonna do some loops and see exactly how she goes so I'm flying line of sight for the second let me just flick this round now I'm flying FPV <laughs> and that is very very weird but still it's a little bit of a learning curve but it is possible it's just a learning curve because you can still see with your left eye so I'm flying there FPV around me and then back out and then line of sight just so I can see exactly where it is that's the beauty of this okay this is quite basic in its current form but at the same time it actually provides a pretty good a pretty good flying path yeah because then I can just flick and I can see the battery level of the quad I can see exactly how it's going I think to be fair it's whole overall distance judging from i mean i'm out now even further let's bring her back to me because otherwise i'm not going to be able to see her orientation for too long because she is pretty much white on white here it's about 40 50 meters sorry 40 50 yeah yeah about 40 50 meters to be fair let me take her out again let me bring her back yeah this is pretty crazy but it works because you can focus on line of sight or you can focus on FPV and I think it works I think it's pretty good and the quality of the image is actually very very nice because the the screen is very low the screen is very small you get good pixelization density so it doesn't look very noisy it's a very clear image there we are a bit of FPV and then back out it is jumping through the frequencies a few quite a quite a bit I mean signal range on this is depleting from 95% here and then 99% here accelerator away dropping down to about 45 at about 40 meters out the only, my main downside is it doesn't have a DVR so I can't record what I'm seeing but I can tell you what I'm seeing which is exactly what I'm doing so sweet and it's lovely I like it I like it a lot I just wish it was cheaper because I don't think it's worth as I said in the original video I don't think it's worth a hundred pound it's a little bit gimmicky in this stage if they keep on developing it they could have themselves a beautiful beautiful little quad um sorry little uh little monocle here we go back around <laughs> it is a fascinating little device because it gives me full access to FPV but also with line of sight for things like that when the wind takes her a little bit so overall impressions and thoughts of this line of sight and FPV it's very doable very very doable I could take her out to 50 meters I wasn't going to take her any further than that because I've got a really really blustery day for something as small as this albeit brushless motor um, with that 50 meters I could see my concern came then that when it dropped on the floor, when it went over there, 
and I had, to, I had to down it because the wind had taken it, that the only thing that I could see there was nothing until I got almost on top of it. But then, as I said, oh, there we go, I'm behind two mounds here. Another downside is it gets very warm. I thought it was just because we had no wind last week. Now we've got a strong wind today and this is still very, very warm. I'm not really sure if I want to have this that close to my head when it is as warm as that. But still, it hasn't hurt me. It's not burnt any of my face. My face is still as round and deformed as it always was. So I think that's going to be all right. Um, now, the ov oh, there we go overall thoughts of line aside and fpv now it, this is the second flight i've done with it and it is a little bit confusing it's a little bit confusing when you start because you can see through the monocle and you can see line of sight but uh, but what you can do is you can zone out so you can look past this and you just see line of sight and because of where this is situated you see line of sight out of both eyes and then when you look down you see fpv it's brilliant it really really works really well i just want to see them develop it i would buy more of these tomorrow i just want to see there being a bit of development a dvr put in it slightly bigger battery i don't even mind if the whole thing is slightly larger that does not bother me one iota i just want to see a couple of really good features because i want you to see what i'm seeing the only way i can do that for a second is using my iphone with a macro lens hooked right up against this little display here as we saw in last week's video where i had some footage in there um now other than that i'm very happy i think it works it does work it works as fpv it works as line of sight works with the baby hawk uh, tiny hawk fantastically well all right then my friends thank you ever so much for watching and listening i've been jd you've been fantastic as always if you haven't already please like and subscribe and hit that bell too hello and welcome to all the new subscribers i hope you're enjoying the channel so until next time my friends Happy flying.